everybody, so finally the day here that all Novocastrians have been waiting for. There's parking in Newcastle. Wait, no, that's not right. But Newcastle Monopoly is here, which does have a free parking space. So there's a win. So this came out today and of course I couldn't help myself but to get it. So the retail for this is $49.95 which is a pretty great deal considering a lot of Monopoly is now because there's so many all range in different prices. So I thought because I got it and it's brand new I would give everyone a look-see. So as you know this is very Newcastle themed, everything is Newcastle based. So there's a lot of places of course you would know and a lot of places you probably don't care about. Like you can now get the light rail which is still not worth the money they gave us. <laughs> so you have Newcastle Airport, Ferry, which I have not been on a ferry in God knows how long. <laughs> Light rail. And then the Sand Dunes Adventures. Then you've got your utility company. So electric company and waterworks. It's just normal, standard. Nothing exciting. Then you've got Black Butt Reserve and King Edward Park. Now what I really like about these is they've added pictures on the back as well. So you can kind of see what the places look like, which I think is a really cool addition. Then you got your light blue, which you've got Fort Scratchley. So you got the both sides again. Newcastle Ocean Bath and Customs House. So it's really cool that they put them on both sides. Like, of course you get to see them on the board of what the places look like, but it's a really nice addition to the cards instead of just having a blank space with the mortgage written on the back. So you've got Newcastle Show, which honestly the crowd on the back is probably more people that usually go there. You've got Surfest and McDonald Jones Stadium. So again, pictures on the back. So your next ones, of course, are the orange. So you got Hunter Valley Gardens, Hope Estate, and Beyond Ballooning, which I thought most of them would be locations, so I was a little surprised to see Beyond Ballooning, but I'm guessing they were going for more of the locations and kind of the winery areas. So I've always wanted to go in a hot air balloon, but I'm kind of terrified of heights, so maybe that's the closest I'll ever get to one. Then you've got Westfield Katara, Derby Street and Hunter Street with all the pictures on there which considering they're showing Hunter Street with no one walking in it is pretty accurate so they're really cool um your yellow is all beaches so you've got Newcastle Beach, Bar Beach and Merriweather Beach they're really nice pictures on the back for these ones so I'm really liking these Yellow is probably going to be my favourite ones to collect again. Green, you got the Lucky Hotel, which I don't think I've actually been there. So that's one location to check out. Newcastle Museum, which I went there forever ago. And then Newcastle Grammar School, which I never went to that school, but I'm guessing a lot of people who grew up in Newcastle might have. And then the favourite, Dark Blues. You've got Anzac Memorial Walk and Nobby's Beach. Which I'm guessing is suitable for how much they paid for this walk. I still haven't gone on the walk. Maybe I should check it out. But yeah, I'm not surprised those ones were the dark blues. The next thing I really find cool is the money because they've added a greater bank all over the notes. So these are your $1 bills. And they're all pretty much the same, just different colours. So you got greater bank, all printed there. Like, they basically went to the same colours, like they didn't go anything dramatic. I just like that they've added greater bank to all of them. So you basically got the same amount of notes that you get in any Monopoly. Um, the only annoying thing is, obviously, if you want to buy extra notes that you've lost and replace them, 
you're not going to be able to get the Greater Bank ones again because I highly doubt they're going to re-release just the Greater Bank notes. But it's a really cool thing that they did. I was just expecting the general notes, like nothing special. So, um, so the next thing is the Chance and Community Chest. So the back of them is just normal, nothing different on the back. But there are some pretty funny cards. So you've got your community chest, same back as usual, nothing special. But my favorite ones, I'll read out for you. You won the 100 meter sprint at the Athletics Carnival, collect $25. You found a parking space, advance to go, collect $200. I laughed way too hard at that. You won a Westfield guitar competition, receive a Westfield gift card, collect $100. And you watch the Newcastle Knights win at McDonald's on the stadium collect $50. Which, the fact that they won is pretty rare, let alone getting paid to see them win. And then you go to your chance. Normal background as usual. Though, I think in the one I own, it's a red background, so this one's an orange background. So chance, <laughs> this one's funny. You are refused entry to King Street McDonald's for not wearing shoes. Pay $15. You missed the 1.30 a.m. town lockout. Pay each player $50 for a taxi home. Very accurate pricing for a taxi. Advance to Newcastle show. If you pass, go collect $200. It basically costs $200 for a family to go to the Newcastle show. So accurate. And you found a seat on the light rail. Advance to go collect $200. Considering no one catches it. It's a great deal. They're basically paying you to catch the light trail. So, got your hotels. Same thing as usual. Nothing special. Same with your houses. But I'm pretty sure they're a very different design because when I first looked at them, I'm like, God, they're tiny. I don't remember them being that tiny. But I'm pretty sure they're actually just a different design and they're the same size as usual. It has been a while since I played Nobly. Get your dice as usual. Dice is dice, unless you're into D&D &D and then you need a million multi-sets. <laughs> the one thing I am disappointed with is the tokens are the same. I was hoping for something like Newcastle based where it came to the tokens. I don't really have anything in mind. Considering they knocked down the penis tower, I thought maybe we have a token for that. But I guess they don't really want to give us that shape. Um, so... The tokens are normal. You have your hat, um, the dog, Scotty, I think his name is. It's a dog, the car, I'm not sure how well you can actually see these because my fat fingers. <laughs> so the car, the boat, the cat, which I know this wasn't in the traditional, but it's now in a lot of the well, re-releases. Ah, uh, the wheelbarrow. The shoe. My boot. And that one. I can't actually remember what these are called. For some reason, every time I see them now, I just think of Peter Pan. It's a really old one. It's like, oh, this is like a kiss. It's a thimble. I'm like, that's all I can think of when I see it now. So I don't actually think that's what they're called, but... That's what always pops into my head. So, of course, you will get your book. Um, it plays the exact same. There's nothing special. There's, like, if you play Spider-Man, like, Spider-Man comes with, like, different rules. But this is just straight, traditional, nothing special. And then it comes to the board. So, it folds to, like, the rectangle, small squares i'm still not really a fan of these boards i really do prefer the other ones but open it up here and there we go so yeah i'm really happy that there is a new castle one um as i said i don't really play monopoly as much at the moment to begin with there's a lot of other games I'd rather be playing um I probably won't play this 
the most. Like, I just thought it'd be cool to add to my board game collection. Cool item, just because I live in Newcastle and just wanted to check it out. So, if you like Monopoly, it's worth checking out just for Newcastle, if you're a Novocastrian. And of course, you get a free parking space, which is never going.